Hello everyone, Mr. Schultz here for Integrated Math 1, and we are talking about 11.2, angle relationships. So let's write that in, angle relationships. Make sure that you write your first name and your last name, as well as your period number, in the top right-hand corner. So one more time, we're dealing with angle relationships. So basically, we're going to talk about some complementary and supplementary angles. Now, we've already previously talked about vertical angles, but there's one more, perpendicular angles. So complementary angles are two angles with measures that have a sum of 90 degrees. That means if we have a right angle right here, we could have a ray right here that breaks up this 90 degree angles into two different parts. And those added together, let's call this angle A and this angle B. Angle A plus angle B has to equal 90 degrees or at least the measure of angle A and the measure of angle B has to equal 90 degrees. The next part here is we have supplementary angles and supplementary angles. So write that in, sup, like what's up? Lementary angles are two angles with measures that have a sum of 180 degrees. Now, you have to make sure that, you know, it makes a line. But if you have a ray coming out of a line, then the left side of the ray plus the right side, so let's say this is angle A and this is angle B, the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B has to equal... 180 degrees. That's the definition of supplementary angles. So let's continue. Now, here's a nice easy way. So if we have a complementary, you should just remember complementary is 90. So C is 90. So C equals 90. So if you have two complementaries, it makes an S symbol. So if you have C and C put together, that's equal to 90 plus 90 or 180. So S is equal to 180 degrees. That's my little trick to remember. Complementary 90, 90, 90, 180. So pretty example setup. So first up. If it's, we have to understand, hey, is it going to be complementary or supplementary? After that, we have to determine the relationship between the two angles. So this plus this equals 90 degrees, or this plus this equals 180 degrees. Now, we'll probably have, you know, at least two unknowns. So there's two unknowns. And so we're going to have to use one of the relationships to get rid of one. So if we know 3x plus 2x equals 90 degrees, well, we combine the x's together and then boom, 5x equals 90 degrees, divide by 5 on both sides, figure out what x is, and then bada bing, bada boom, we figure out what is the measures of the each of the angles. So now let's do some examples to finalize, finalize our understanding. All right, guys, so let's continue. So, example one, complementary and supplementary angles. So it says find the measures of two supplementary angles if the difference between the measures 
of the angles is 35. So, hey, I know, hey, this is x and y. So, I know x plus y equals 180. And I know, hey, this is the bigger one. I know that x minus y equals 35. Well, this looks like, if you remember in eighth grade, this is what looks, what looks like. Um, what does it look like? It looks like the system of equations. Well, maybe you might not have covered it, but we can get this by itself. We could be like, hey, I want to get x by itself. So I'm going to add y to both sides. If I get x by itself right here, I'm going to say, hey, look, x is equal to 35 plus y. After I do that, I can do the substitution property to get to switch out for x. So right here, I could say, hey, 35 plus y plus y is equal to 180. And then once I add this together, I get 35 plus 2y is equal to 180. So using our subtraction property of equality, I can subtract by 35 on both sides, and I get 150, 145, 2y, is equal to 145. So the final part, we would divide by 2 on both sides, and I get y is equal to, I don't know, 72.5. So y is equal to 72.5. Now, I can choose which one I want to put it in, either the top one or the bottom one, and I would get my answer. Now, I like the top one. I would say x plus 72.5, because I'm doing another substitution, is equal to 180. If I subtract by 72.5 on both sides, I would get x is equal to 110, 108, 107.5. Oh, 107.5. And so those are my two measurements for x and y. My two supplementary angles would be 107.5 and 72.5. Let's continue. So E and F are complementary. So know that E plus, so angle E plus angle F has to equal 90 degrees. The measure of angle E is 54 degrees more than angle F. So I know angle E equals angle F plus 54 degrees. Well, now I can do my substitution property to substitute for angle E. So I know that angle F plus 54 degrees is E plus angle F has to equal 90. So if I add these two together, I would get two of angle F's plus 54 has to equal 90 degrees. And then I just have to slowly solve for one of our variables. So if I subtract by 54, I get two of angle F's have to equal 90 minus 50 is 40, 40 minus 4 is 36. So 2 of angle F's equals 36 degrees. Divide by 2 on both sides, and angle F has to equal 18 degrees. Well, now we have to figure out what is angle E. Well, I know from the original equation right here, either angle E plus angle F equals 90 degrees, or, hey, angle E is equal to angle F plus 54 degrees. I like the bottom one this time, but I could do the top. So 18 degrees plus 54 has to equal E. So angle E is equal to 18 plus 54, 64, 72. So angle E to angle E has to be 72 degrees. Box and answer. So now we figured out the angles of each one of these. 
So when you're solving these, you have to figure out, is it complementary or supplementary? Like, like looking at this, we understand, hey, these two added together have to equal 90 or 180. Well, that's 90 for this one. For the next one, it's in its supplement. So it's, hey, we have to solve it differently. All right, so what I'm going to ask you guys to do is solve the next few by yourself. And I'm going to go on and we're going to do perpendicular. So let's go on. So perpendicular. So let's write this in. Well, perpendicular lines are two lines that intersect and create right angles. Or angles, whoop, angles that have the measure of 90 degrees. They will normally have a right angle symbol. So if we have a perp, two perpendicular lines, they will normally have this symbol right here. Now, sometimes they won't have it. And sometimes they'll be like, hey, it's 90 degrees. Or they'll say, hey, here's the symbol. So it's up to you to figure out, hey, is this perpendicular or not? So let's finish this up. Example two, perpendicular lines. Right, so it's raised B A and B C are perpendicular. All right, well, B A and B C are perpendicular. All right, cool, cool, cool. So it says point D lies in the interior. Okay, so D is right here, somewhere inside the interior of A B C. If A B D is 3R plus 5, and DBC is 5R minus 27, find ABD and DBC. Okay, well, let me just look at this and be like, bro, looking at this, I understand, hey, look, I know these two added together have to equal 90 degrees. It's basically, hey, these are complementary angles. So I understand that, hey, 3R plus 5 plus 5R minus 27 has to equal 90 degrees. So if I add these together, I would eventually get AR minus 22 is equal to 90. Add 22 to both sides. 102 is equal to 8R. Oh, geez. Now I have to get my calculator out because I'm like, ah, what is 102 divided by 8? So I think R is equal to 12.75. Well, what we would now need to do is we take that information and figure out the measure of ABD, angle ABD. So ABD is 3R plus 5. So we do 3 times 12.75 plus 5. Well, I'll just get the calculator out and go 3 times this. So I get 36, 37 37.5, 38.25, and then plus 5, 38.25. So plus 5, 38, 40, 43.25. Now, I could actually just figure out what, now I'm going to circle it. This is the other one. This is the measure of angle ABD, DBC. DBC, I can figure out this right here. This is what's circled. 5 times 12.75 minus 27. Or, hey, I know 90 minus this will be the answer. So if I subtract 90 by this, 90 minus 40 is 50, 47, 46.75. All right, guys. Oh, and finally, hey, should be in degrees. Don't forget, you are going to have to figure out what is the relationship and how they are related. 
So go ahead and install the next few, and I will help you in class. Bye, everybody.